this video, I'm going to guide you through the real-time reports and the standard reports from Google Analytics. Please bear in mind, this video is aimed at beginners from Google Analytics. And if you're already an advanced user, you're probably better off to make another course on Udemy or watch one of the YouTube videos, which are about Google Analytics or make other courses on the internet. In general, if you open Google Analytics, you have all your website data here on the top left corner and you can switch between them very easily. Now I have opened the website view from a Shopify store property. I have my accounts, my properties and apps. I don't have any apps. I just have a website and the website view. Now I can see all the collected data, which is collected through this UA code here, which I entered in the last lecture in my Shopify store. Then there are four tabs. The one is the home tab, which basically brings you back to the accounts and the properties. Then there's the reporting tab where you see the reports from one of your accounts. In the customization, you can create your own custom reports or you can import reports from a report gallery. And there's the admin section where you have your accounts, your properties to the accounts and the views. In the next few lectures, we will make some settings to the view. But right now, I just go back to reporting and I show you how I usually use Google Analytics very quickly to get an overview of the users which are browsing my store or my websites. If you have a shop which is frequently used, you can go to the real-time reports and you see in real time who is using your store right now. My store is currently not available to a broader audience, so it's empty. There is no one looking at it right now. In the overview, I see how many people are actively using my site right now. I can see it from the last 30 minutes and I can see a per second view from the last one minute. I can also see the top active pages. I'm going to show you this now by opening another browser and browsing my store. I have opened my store in another browser and I'm walking to home, catalog, collections and news. Then I go back to Google Analytics and I see that I now served five sites. My one user, which is myself, is currently on blogs news. I'm on blogs news. And I have these hits in the past minute. I am sitting in Austria. There is no referrals, there is no social traffic, and there is no keywords for this site currently because I'm directly going to the site by typing in the URL in my browser. If I go to the locations tab, I see where my traffic is coming from. Currently, it's only from Austria. I can also see the traffic sources. The source currently is a direct source. If there are people coming from social networks or from Google, you can see this here. The content tab tells me what kind of content the users are surfing on. Right now, I'm just at the products news blog from my store. There are currently no events. Events are automatically emitted from the Shopify store. In the real-time view, I find it only interesting to see the events if I'm running any auctions or any current discounts or any marketing campaigns which are tied to a certain time frame, like one hour sale. Then I can see this very clearly. In a normal store where you sell like a few hundred items per month, you probably will not be very satisfied with the event section from the real-time view. And in my conversions, I see how many conversions are currently done right now in my store, well, in the past 30 minutes. This is the real-time view. The audience view, in the audience overview, I see what kind of audience was surfing on my site in a certain date range. And I can select the date range on the top right corner here, where I, for example, select from the 1st of November 
to the 29th of November. And then I click apply. And then I see how many sessions were on my website, how many of the visitors and new visitors or returning visitors in that time frame, how many users were surfing here, how many different page views did these 11 users actually surf on, how many pages per session, what is the average session duration, and more. I can see demographic features. What is the language? What is the country where they are coming from? The actual city? What kind of browser do they have? Operating system? Where are they coming from? Which service provider? And more. I'm very rarely using this information. I'm just mostly interested in the language and in the country. So when I run any marketing campaigns, I know if I rather make them in English or in German when you look here, you see definitely that this is not a language and this is kind of a spam. And we will see in later sections how we can get rid of this spam with some simple clicks in the admin panel. One thing that I have deactivated in my Shopify stores and in my Google Analytics is the demographics and interests view. I do not activate them because I'm sitting in Europe and I would have to have an additional cookie or other notification on my Shopify store before I can actually collect this kind of data. Shopify is offering an app for $13 or $18, I think. It's a one-time fee where you can display this cookie information before it's actually collecting any data. But I'm right now not really interested in the demographics and interest report. I'm more interested in where my users are coming from What is the behavior? Is it new or returning users? I see a lot of information is if I run marketing campaigns and there is no users coming back, then um, maybe doing something in my campaign, which is attracting new users, but then they don't find what they actually want long-term. And one thing that you see immediately here is that there is an actual revenue attached to the different user types or um, if you go to the user explorer I also have uh, deactivated that um, I can actually see what kind of user is generating how much uh, revenue and uh, but you can activate this and then you see what kind of user is generating which kind of revenue and the revenue is directly transferred from Shopify to Google Analytics. So you can really track which user, which country is generating what kind of revenue. And you can see where you have maybe most of your active users and you can run marketing campaigns there to even generate more revenue. Or at least you, you know what is going on. It's very interesting for a shop owner to know the data. I also see uh, what kind of technology they are using. Am I am I uh, getting a lot of users from a mobile phone? Am I generating? Any, am I getting a lot of users which are on tablets? Um, is it uh, is it a lot of fancy Apple users or more uh, Android devices or? you know, and so on. And Shopify is actually taking care of the mobile view. So your shop will always look very nice on, on a mobile device. They did a great job with that. But it's still good to know. Um, you can also see the, the user flow, uh, where they are going to, what they're doing, where they're dropping out. Okay, my Austrian users are going mostly to the starting page and from there they go to the collections and so on. Of course, right now there's not a lot of users using the site yet, but if it's getting more and more, you will see what kind of behavior the users are having when they are 
using your site, where they're coming from, where they're going to, what is interesting for them. For example, are they using, are they coming a lot from a certain blog post or are they interested in, in some certain information, but then dropping out a lot or, or are they going from one blog post? Uh, you see that they, they see one blog post and then they buy a lot of things. This is very interesting and valuable information for you. Then you know what kind of blog posts your users are after and you can generate more of these blog posts. Let's have a look at the acquisition tab. The acquisition tab tells you where your users are coming from. And right now, again, the shop doesn't have a lot of uh, store users yet, but um, well, obviously there is a lot of spam going on, which I tackle later. Then we had 16 sessions coming from direct and Seems like we had 16 sessions from a social network. I'm not sure exactly where this comes from, but uh, in general, Google Analytics is just, um, it's just a proximity to your real users. Because right now I'm not sitting in Vienna, but it's classified as Vienna. And, and when I'm using um, an ad blocker, or any other privacy tool, it will not transfer any data to Google Analytics. It will not track me. So if if you have a lot of traffic on your site, then you can say like 80% or 70% or maybe 90% of that is true. And you will always have some misses or some, some erroneous reporting. But if it will, with a lot of data, it will evenly um, distribute across your your channels and you will see at the end where users are coming from and where they go to. And this is the part which is interesting in Google Analytics. Or if you run AdWords campaigns, uh, you can link AdWords to your Google Analytics and you see which campaigns are generating what kind of uh, revenue. Uh, you can also link the, the search console, which we will do later on. Um, then the behavior tab is quite interesting. In the, on the behavior overview, you see which users or how many users are searching or using which of your site. And if you enable the site search, you can also see what kind of search terms the users are searching for. Like for example, uh, pants or black or business or, or for, a certain, um, um, for a certain company name or whatever you're selling. So that's very, very valuable information. And maybe you see a need and if you don't have a product, then maybe you can get it in stock and so on. So it's something that's worth checking out maybe every week or every two weeks, at least get a uh, view what users actually want from your store and what they think your store represents and then give it to them. The behavior flow is uh, pretty much again the, the same flow as uh, in the audience behavior flow. Just in this case, it's all your pages and where the users are going to. How they actually interact with your site. Again, uh, all this behavior um, reports are really about the content of your site and where the users are on your site and where they come from and where they go to from page to page. And then we have one last tab, which is the conversions uh, tab or the, the conversion reports. And if you have set up any conversions and we will do this later on, then you can see which one of your, if you've set up any goals, which one of your goals are actually uh, converting. 
So for example, one of the goals could be somebody's putting something in the cart and then he is entering his billing information and then he's entering his payment information and then he will see the thank you page. So that could be a goal. And I have already set up this goal here. And then I can see this funnel and I can see two people put something in the cart. And from these two people, two people actually proceeded to the shipping information. And then from these two people, they also entered the payment information. And then these two people also placed an order. And I have a 100% conversion rate. I also have my e-commerce overview and I see which products are working best, uh, what product categories, I don't have, I haven't said any yet, uh, what brands um, and so on. So Shopify is automatically transferring this information to Google Analytics and it gives you a lot of power because you know what your customers, your users actually want from you and you can increase your products there or reduce stock from things which are not so important. And you can check this, uh, group this together, either if you have a high frequency store by hour, um, you can see at which hour, uh, what, what are people buying um, by week, by month and so on. Um, you can also see the, the shopping behavior. So from, from all of your sessions, uh, there's three sessions with a, with a shopping, with the actual product view. And then there's only one session is going to add something to the basket. And then there's uh, one who is actually going to the checkout. So if you haven't uh, used analytics before, there is not much you can do wrong. It just gives you an extra tool to understand what the people in your store are doing and what they want from your store. If you haven't used it before, please sign up and use it. Look at it from time to time. You don't have to look at it every day, but just start collecting the data. And the earlier you start collecting the data, the more you can do in the long run. In, in the next lecture, we're going to connect uh, the webmaster tools. It's going to be a shorter lecture. And then we set up, we set up a goal and we set up the site search and I show you what this is about.